for Honor Beta. Woo! I'm happy to finally be in it. I was hoping to get into the close beta, but that didn't work out. Uh, my apologies for the tips being in Dutch. I didn't manage to change the language of my game because my Uplay is set to Dutch. Because, well, Dutch. Um, but I hope it doesn't uh, really, I mean, it shouldn't bother you guys at all. Uh, if it does, my apologies, and otherwise, well, too bad, bruh. I'm excited. I'm really excited to play this. I don't seem to be doing damage. The animation is sweet as fuck. Twenty minutes later. These animations. Are cool as fuck. Anyway, I have to go up here to stop murdering those. Ah, it's fine. Whatever. Multiplayer. War is a persistent cross-platform conflict between the knights, Vikings, and samurai. The faction you've pledged allegiance to determines who you'll fight for in the faction war, but doesn't stop you from playing any available hero. Oh. The faction war englobes all multiplayer and bot activities. After each match, you will be awarded war assets based on your personal performance. You can deploy war assets to help conquer an enemy territory, or defend one of yours against opposing factions. Whoa. On a global level, the faction war is divided into territory updates, rounds, and seasons. Whoa. Territory updates occur every six hours, while rounds last two weeks, and seasons last ten weeks. For each territory update, the faction with the most war assets on a specific territory controls it. The world map will display the new faction control territories and move the different fronts. Fronts will define which map you will play on. A map that was controlled by the knights and is now controlled by the samurai will have many visible changes. Whoa. At the end of each round, players who participated will get a reward depending on the rank of their faction in that round. Once the season uh. ends, everyone will get rewards depending on the rank of their faction. At the end of each season, the faction war is reset and will resume after an off-season period. The world will forever be impacted by what happened in the previous seasons of For Honor. Nice. I love it. So this is like... Oh, okay, so deathmatch. Whoa, wait, oh, wait, oh, where's my mouse? Give it... Okay. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo! Fuck you, man! Oh, it wasn't locking on this person. That kinda sucked. Uh... You 
captured zone A. Oh, come on. I was finishing that. Fuck you and your fucking dog. Stop stealing it. Come on, man. gonna start a duel. Man, I'm against Nabushi. So you're gonna run, huh? Running, get back here. Get your ass back here, you idiot. Charge. You, bro. You've got my Let's go get this shit.
Get your ass back here. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Yay, we won. I'm doing great. I got five and oh. I'm doing great. Time is running out. Yeah, that's okay. Round three. It's saying there's a problem with the service, but there's people connected and everything. <laughs> Bro, stop copying me, man. Shit, he got my ass. Wait, Dusty? I thought it... Whoa, okay, so that's someone from another game, then, because... There's no way. Gonna camp this shit. Bullshit, how the hell did that happen? So the servers are getting wrecked. Um, so I guess it's time to uh, get out and start editing the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play this game. As bad as I might be, or as... Well, yes, I'm bad. Um, I joined the, the, the Vikings for the region war. Um, so... That means I am red, the red side. Um, so yeah, I guess. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, this is just going to be an impression video. So my opinion so far, yeah, okay. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of um, balancing still to be done. Because all, all, it always kind of comes out. 
uh, balance towards the skill level of the producers, and um, like you can you can tell that um, that rogue, the the, the two bladed knight, is uh, is well, it, it's a new killer. Yeah, I guess I gotta put it like that. Um, it's a new killer, and if uh, it's really cringy that. They are around in the noob areas. I mean, everybody's a noob right now, but you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be painful to deal with that for the people that just joined the game. For for me, for example. So yeah, there's there's things left to be done, I guess. But the game itself seems like it's fun. Um, I enjoy the competitiveness of the game, and uh, there's there's some aspects that that are really interesting, and some aspects that are well. You know, um, might need some changing. Um, I, I don't really get what this. I'm using it already, so. So yeah, I don't really get it. Oh, there we go. A male. That one looks much more brutal. It just seems the character better. Well, there's a lot of diversity to the character customization. It doesn't actually do anything. However, the, um, the pieces that you put on, that actually does something. Um, what did I miss? Like I, oh wait, symbols, right. I unlock this. Okay, I see. So, let's take a look at this one. No, that's not the one I selected. I said this one. There we go. I mean, I'm a guy, so that's ugly. That's a nun. Shoulder. Um, I like, I like that. The side. Oh, that's different. Let's take that. I don't know. I'm just doing shit. Sim. Oh, I got a bunch actually. That's pretty cool though. I like this one. So. I guess like the, there's a lot of customizations to this game, but it's mostly cosmetic. But for example, I did unlock a cling of Sheedon. So that's a uh, what's the word in English? I don't even know. Uh, but it's gonna give me increased stamina reduced. Like it, it's it's gonna cost less stamina to swing. So it's probably a lighter sword because I do lose some. Uh, I do lose some defense. Yeah, fuck it, let's use it. So, the, I mean, that's quite interesting. There's a lot of things to... Did I not get anything at all for this character? Alright. So, but you can actually buy chests. Hmm. Premium pack. Or, let's just get a basis pack to check it out, right? Opening it. Oh, nice, so I got a hilt. Nice. I got arm pieces and another hilt. Alright, let's put it on. Or let's take a look. So what does it do? Revenge advantage with while being wounded, or and but less revenge attacks, or more revenge attacks and less revenge advantage when being wounded. I mean, I have no idea what either of it does, so I'm just gonna take this. Because that one's high level. Make sense? No? I don't know. And I got arms that give me resistance block damage. Okay, so I guess like you get it pretty easy. I'm getting a lot of more coins pretty quickly. I don't know how quickly that's gonna keep going. You probably want to unlock all of these. Those cost 500 each. Um, I guess it's still Ubisoft, so they, they're gonna make you pay if you want to progress quickly. But they did make it so that you can progress without um, what you call it, without paying money, so. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. This is definitely just my first impression of the video. I'm definitely going to play some more and get better at it, of course, because I'm absolutely horseshit right now. Right, don't forget to leave a rating. Um, next time, the menu and everything will be in English, so you guys can read along. I hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out. Check out our 